So my professional background, my academic training is in economics. Uh, I'm an international economist, and a lot of my academic research and teaching have focused on how the forces of globalization and technological change and public policy, how they shape the performance of companies and industries and labor markets. I think given where higher education is today and given where business education is in particular, um, I think one of the advantages I'll hopefully bring to this position is a lot of my professional life in terms of the research and teaching have been thinking about the forces that are really shaping higher education and business education today. If you look at the rise of interest in business education in emerging markets, um, if you look at MOOCs and the technological change that's coming to how learning is delivered in and out of the classroom, um, if you look at the United States and other countries at governments that are taking a harder look at education, I think it's a very exciting time uh, for those of us in education, um, but a time where hopefully that background and thinking that I've done throughout my academic career will li really inform some of the thinking and activities we do uh, here at Tuck. I took two years where I was on leave from the Tuck School and had the opportunity to serve in the U.S. government uh, in an agency called the Council of Economic Advisors. Um, since then, I've, I've continued to do a lot of work with not just business leaders, but government leaders in Washington and other capitals on issues of financial regulation, international trade, international tax, immigration. Um, that's really been enriching for my teaching and the research and basically all the aspects of professional things I do at Tuck. Um, my scholarly work had long focused on public policy and how trade and investment regimes and tax policies affect companies and labor markets and things like that. Um, the opportunity to connect that scholarship with real-world impact in Washington and beyond um, was truly transformational. Um, I've been able to bring back to Tuck connections of ideas and experiences that I bring into the classroom, both myself, guests whom I've been able to bring from friendships and relationships I've created. Um, and so I think I'm just one example of many faculty at Tuck because so many of our faculty are able to take those experiences with companies, with civil society, with governments, and bring that into the classroom in a pretty amazing way. Most people don't know um, that if we get some say for what happens in our next lifetime, I will be returning as a successful PGA golfer. So I am an avid but mediocre golfer. But on that, I guess the, the thing that everyone should know is uh, as much as I love my work and I love the Tuck School, uh, far and away the most important thing to me is my family. Uh, my wife, Lindsay, uh, our two sons, Nicholas and Jacob, uh, our two dogs, Teddy and Ollie, and uh, the extended family that Lindsay and I have, um, those are what make life most important to me and what matter most to me in the world.